got some color finally it's been such a long time since we as a family could all get a chance to go out to the beach and hang out there all day long and fall asleep and play so the last couple of days that's exactly what me and my husband and our two youngins have been doing have been going to the beach and hanging out and going swimming and building sand castles and I was finally able to lay down on my little spot of heaven and just fall asleep and I got my golden sun-kissed tan back. You guys probably can't even see all the bronzy goodness because of the light that's coming in uh, to my window because I'm in front of my window right now and the light kind of washes, natural sunlight washes my color out but I'll do um, like a comparison shot outside and you can really see how uh, deep I got. The only thing that drives me crazy about tanning is the fact that I am already pretty uneven. You know those girls and their elbows and their knees and their ankles are flawless and they're not darker and it all just blends seamlessly with their skin. I ain't like that. I have about four or five complexions going on right now. My face, my neck, and my chest is a different color. My legs are a different color. My arms and my hands are a different color. So when I do go out and tan, all that does is just makes things just a little bit more uneven. I get my beautiful coppery glow, but on some bits, it just doesn't match up. This right here, all of this, was a lot um, more, the contrast was very great. So how do you get rid of your tan line? I think we all know how to get rid of our tan line. My backyard is fenced in. I know Sam would love it. But I don't want to traumatize the children. So what I've tried is a sunless tanner. Now there are a billion, bajillion different sunless tanners. Just go to the sunscreen section and you will find a Pletera a Prada. I decided to go with two different products. I wanted uh, something that was going to blend my tan effortlessly and seamlessly, but I also wanted something to give me even more of a boost of a, a golden color. So I went with Banana Boat, and Banana Boat comes in two different colors. They had light to medium, which is a blue strip, and then they have this deep dark color, which is kind of like a magenta strip. Make sure you pay attention about what strip you get. I got the Banana Coat Summer Color um, Self Tanning Lotion in deep dark color because it's for all skin tones, and it has a nice little chocolatey drop right here, and that's the color going to be good for darker skin tones like me. But those are my sisters who are not familiar with sunless tanners. There are choices between lotions, creams, mists, uh, sprays, oils, whichever is gonna be good for you. I like the lotion because it's tinted, I can see where it's going. Drying time, um, I put this on and it probably takes about 10 to 15 minutes for everything to dry completely because I put it on and then I hopped to the bed and the sheets were like, no ma'am, mm -mm. So I hopped directly right out of bed, I walked around and I tried to let it dry and it, I was afraid of messing up my sheets so I went ahead and put on some sweatpants and a long sleeve uh, night shirt and I went to sleep like that. Um, woke up the next morning to wash it all off. The directions say that you apply it to clean, dry skin. What they don't say is that you apply it to clean, dry, exfoliated skin. So what you wanna do when you're in the shower is you wanna use a loofah or you wanna use one of these like these bad boys, these scrubber thingies, you put your soap in here and you like that. Or you can use some exfoliating gloves like I use and just get all that dead flaky skin off because you don't want to put you don't want to put this on without getting off the dead flaky skin because you can get streaky. So anyway, it takes about two to three hours for the color to develop. If it's not dark enough for you, like I still have uh, some light spots and of course the back you can still see, then you can put on another coat. But you want to wait anywhere from two to three hours between coats so you get the best results. When I went to sleep. I thought I was going to wake up like But that didn't really happen. I got kind of like a wash of color. So I'm going to have to do this I think probably about two more times so I can blend in my tan a lot better. And once you do the initial application you only have to retouch it like once or twice a week. All right, the second thing I got, I don't know what I did with it. I hope I didn't throw it away, because it was awesome, but it was Hawaiian Tropics, and it had a sunscreen in it, but it was pretty much just a very shimmery, um, 
golden type of lotion that had mica in it that reflected the sun. So when you're out there on the beach and you got your beautiful tan golden brown skin, you put this lotion on it and it just highlights and reflects and makes everything look really nice. And bronze. So that's it. That's my new summer color. Gorgeous darling. Go get you some. See all this bronze and blue. Dance cover up. Stretch marks.